it's like a paedophile ring operating and preying on children in plain sight whilst whilst reaping the benefits of being uh, respected members of the community and it, it, it's sickening and it's galling and I, I, I know people myself affected by this story. I, I know people personally affected by this story and I know the blighting of lives caused by this sexual abuse of children and it is sickening and if you are out there this morning listening and you're affected by this, we believe you, we see you and, and we support you because most right-minded people are sickened to their stomachs by this. And if you are somebody involved in this, shame on you. There is a shame in this for the order. And the fact that they fought tooth and nail to defend some of these cases yeah, I think that's is further sickening, to yeah. be perfectly honest. And, and look, a, a huge credit uh, should go to the, the oh, yeah. two uh, brothers, who uh, uh, Mark and David, who spoke to that uh, RT documentary on one um, um, documentary, uh, f- because they have shone a light on, on what's happened. And I think what is, I suppose what many people will, will find even more depressing is the familiarity of how this was handled by the order, because we have, we have heard this story before of cover up of uh, priests being transferred to a different school, to a different country. Uh, Patsy McGarry outlining uh, about one priest being uh, transferred to a school in Sierra Leone where he, he seems to have continued and to uh, have of priests. using the full might of the justice system to defend the yeah. indefensible.